In today's video, we're going to be testing and comparing the top four best-selling Amazon.com solar panels. These are all rated for 100 watts each and they're 12 volt solar panels. But is there a difference in output or quality of materials? A lot of people don't know. And a lot of these are priced the same and they have the same reviews. So what I did is I bought these with my own cash directly from Amazon. Because as a YouTuber, if I ask a company to send me products, they usually send me their best performing products. But these are directly from the Amazon warehouse, which will allow us to compare these panels accurately. So on the right, we have a Renogy 100 watt. Then we have an HQST 100 watt, rich solar, black solar panel, and then the new power 100 watt. And they're actually pretty different. And I think you guys will really like this video and it could really save you some money and time. So in this video, first, we're gonna talk about the packaging it came in. We're gonna talk about the quality of materials that they use. And then at the very end, we're gonna test the output of each individual solar panel. So yeah, let's get started. Let's compare the packaging of these four solar panels. First, we have the new power and it has foam all over the place it's on the rails it's on the glass it's packaged really well with a thick box next we have the Renogy again it was packaged properly you have foam corners there's lots of space on the sides in the front of the panel they did a good job with the rich solar panel the black one there is no protection on the glass there's no protection on the rails there's just a piece of cardboard right here and that's it and we have cardboard corners just for the edges but, but that's not much protection at all and the HQST has foam on the glass in the front but the rails are completely exposed but hqst and rich solar had the least packaging and i could see these getting broken especially the rich solar there's no protection on the glass but the renogy and the new power panel had the best packaging now let's do a quick size comparison of these four solar panels you will notice that the new power and the rich solar are much larger than the hqst and the renogy they are wider and they are taller which is not good if you go over here to the Renogy and the HQST, they are the same height or length of rail and also the same exact width. You will also notice that these rails look pretty much identical. And the only difference is HQST has more mounting hole variation on the corners. The other mounting holes are the same, like that one. And then there's a screw for mounting your ground line. And then we have another mounting hole. But at the corner of the HQST, you have all of these holes drilled out. And that's really good. Now let's compare it to the larger solar panels that have less holes. You only have one right here, one right here, the ground hole right here, and then this on both solar panels. Isn't that crazy? So the HQST is definitely the winner when it comes to the rails, but you can tell that all of these manufacturers must be buying these from the same exact factory because they are very similar. The new power has its own rails, it seems like, but this rail is skinnier than this one and this one and this one. That's what I do not like about that. When it comes to rails on solar panels, you want it to be very thick and strong. And some of the house solar panels are double walled and those are super strong, but this is kind of weak. I do not like that. Well, let's compare the diode boxes and the wires that they come with. They all look pretty good, but they're cheap Chinese MC4 connectors. You can tell by how shiny they are, the quality of plastic. These have silicon insulation. This is more of a welding wire. These are just traditional UV lines, nothing special. I did notice that these, the HQST is pretty much a clone of the Renogy. I mean, they have the same diode box too. Does it say the same thing? Yeah, it says forward electronics, forward electronics. It's pretty much a clone. Over here though, this looks cheap. You will notice that this diode box on the rich solar panel is a little crooked. Can you see that? It just doesn't look like it lines up as well as these ones. Over here, this is also a very cheap Chinese one. So yeah, HQST and Renogy are the clear winners when it comes to diode boxes. Crazy about this is the new power had the best packaging, but there's a lot of things that I don't like. I mean, it shouldn't be this size for its power output rating and the rails are small. Now let's compare the front of these solar panels. You will notice that these solar cells are spaced further apart from each other than these ones. These ones are very close. And I think that's why these are so small form factor wise is because look how big this diamond is and this white line is compared to this one. These solar cells are very close to each other so they can make the solar panel smaller. I mean, look at the difference between these two. And there's also some variation on the front of these solar cells. You will notice that we have two wires going across each cell on this one. We have four wires going across each cell on this one. 
and then this one has five wires and this is identical to this one and honestly look at these two solar panels you guys the HQST and the Renogy are practically identical if you look at the wire arrangement the cell arrangement the spacing it's almost as if Renogy just put their label in there I mean these panels are identical front and back What's interesting also is these cells are what I would see on an older monocrystalline. Usually with the newer ones they look like this and they're pushed close together. On older panels I used to work with this is the arrangement and this is kind of what it looked like. But what's interesting is the HQST and the Renogy have different open circuit voltages so it will be very interesting when we connect it to my little power meter to see if there's any variation in output. Just check this out, this is my new solar panel test station. I haven't tested the output of these two solar panels, the Renogy and the HQST, but I checked the open circuit voltage and on their data sheets it says that they're different, but I just tested them and they're exactly the same. The same exact voltage. You guys can tell we're starting to figure out that these panels are identical, but we will test the output. We will see if it's different. This is how we're going to test the output of these solar panels. I have a lithium iron phosphate battery with a 40 amp MPPT. I also have my cell balancer to check the balance of these cells while I'm discharging and charging. We have this as a load for this battery. Underneath these panels, they have the same ventilation. Also, the gauge of wire that I connected this all with is identical, and the length of wire is identical. Also, this is all copper wire, which is oxygen-free copper, and everything is highest quality components possible. You may be asking, how are we gonna figure out how much each panel produces? Because if they're all in parallel, and they have slightly different voltage, it could mess up our readings. And I'm glad you guys thought about that, because I'm sure the comment section will have that if I didn't mention it. So first, we have a watt meter connected to each panel and we're going to plug it directly into the MPPT. I did some resistive loads with a converter and some resistors and I found that I couldn't get nearly as much power as when it was connected directly to this MPPT. So that will be the most accurate way to determine how much power each one produces. Now we're going to test the output of these solar panels but I want you guys to understand that these have been sitting in the sun for the same amount of time. If one of the panels was colder than the other ones it could possibly produce more power. So I've let them sit in the sun and they have the same amount of ventilation in the back. So this should be a very accurate assessment of solar power output from each panel. First panel that's gonna be tested is the Renogy. Next is the HQST. Then we have Rich Solar and then New Power. Now we have a watt meter connected between the solar panel and the MPPT and we'll see how much power it produces. The first one will be the Renogy. And after about five minutes of watching the output of the Renogy, we have between 75.3 and 75.5 watts. Now we're gonna connect the HQST. No way, you guys, it's producing 75.4 to 75.5 watts. That literally means that the Renogy and the HQST are pretty much the same exact panel. So these two panels produce the same amount of power. Now let's test the Rich Solar and the New Power. And as you guys can notice, the Rich Solar solar panel is black, so it might run at a higher temperature and the efficiency could drop. So let's find out. So get this guys, the Rich Solar panel is actually producing 81.7 watts. That's more than HQST and more than the Renogy. 81.7, 81.5. God, that is so interesting. Now let's plug in the New Power. And the new power solar panel is producing 81.6, 81.5, 81.8, 81.5. So around the same as the rich solar panel. So even though these are all 100 watt solar panels, the large ones produce more power. And these two are pretty much clones of each other. So which panels should you guys actually buy? I thought that because the large panels were of cheaper quality, and they are larger and less efficient for their size, I would avoid those two panels. I would not buy the Rich Solar and I would not buy the New Power. So that leaves us with the Renogy and the HQST. So which panels should you buy? They are practically identical, but the HQST is cheaper. So I looked up the warranty for both companies. Renogy and HQST have the exact same warranty for their 100 watt panel. They have a 25 year power output warranty, and then they have a five year material and workmanship warranty. 
So when it comes down to it, which one would I buy? I would be buying the HQST. And there's an advantage that the HQST has that the Renogy doesn't. And it's those mounting hole variation on the corners. So I think HQST won this competition. If you guys disagree with me, let me know below. But I think it's a pretty clear cut winner. I've also bought some other solar panels from HQST and they work great. And usually you'll save about $30 for each panel by buying it from HQST. This isn't sponsored. This is not affiliated. I will have Amazon links below for all of these panels, but my recommendation comes from directly testing these panels. So I hope you guys found this video useful and yeah, HQST is awesome. I'm going to be buying those panels in the future. If you guys think there's a panel that outperforms all of these panels and you want me to know about it, please let me know in the comment section below and I will check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.